Welcome to United by Trucks. Today, we're introducing you to TTR's new project, the UBT Crew. So we told you in the past, we're gonna bring you more segments from TTR's garage. It's Friday night here. I just got in from eating dinner with my family and you can see it's already dark outside. But not long ago, Ron drug home a new UBT project. If you don't know who TTR is, he's a main component of what we do here at United by Trucks. And we do a lot of work in his garage. It's where we did the LS swap for Pecos. It's where we do a lot of things. But he's already dragged home a new project. We're calling it the UBT crew. So let's take you to his garage so you can find out a little bit more about his plans. What's up guys? I'm back in the garage today. I haven't done a whole lot out here lately. Um, mostly just been rear end swapping Pecos. Got all that done. Then we've been out of town with we'll C10 Nationals, other stuff, work, household stuff, all kinds of stuff. But anyways, you can see here in the garage, it's a total mess from the rear end swap. I've been trying to get it cleaned up. I haven't really gotten it cleaned up. I need to do a better job, but Last time we took a look at the HD, today we're going to show you that the HD is now going to be a donor for the crew cab. Pretty cool. I really like the HD, I do, but after it got hit, I just got to thinking more and more about what I should do and if I'm going to put money into it, how much money to put into it, is it worth putting money into or just use it for a donor. Uh, and then I thought I'd really like to have four doors with the kids and all that stuff, still be able to tow some things. So I went and got a crew cab. It's pretty clean. It's got some rust down there in the rocker. It's about the only place really, but it's a 3 plus 3 truck, needs carpet, no power windows or anything like Pecos has. So, it's pretty cool. I like it. Needs to be cleaned up. Needs some work. I don't know what they had back here. I'm guessing the truck was a cabin chassis truck. Uh, but they had some huge leaf packs in here. There's eight in there plus two overloads. And then the block. The truck was sold. I'm guessing freer motor company in freer texas which is super cool like i said the truck's really really rust free the only spot i saw was in that cab corner over there um other than that everything's pretty good i mean even the door bottoms are really solid really nice i like it plan is to keep all the eight lug stuff because if it ain't broke don't fix it it's got a motor in there small block uh, get hydro boost all that good stuff uh, like I said though the plan is to take all of that you see Pecos in the background take all of that powertrain 604L80 and put it in there have a cool cool truck crew cab um, I've already ordered some stuff uh, suspension stuff uh, in fact today I got a phone with Thomas over at Switch Suspension. I ordered a bunch of stuff from them. Uh, we'll get the rear end set up. We'll move on to the front. Of course, you know we'll be videoing all that. I'm going to try and keep the rear end out of the HD as well. Uh, they're both 14 bolts, but that one there I know is a 14 gear locker and disc brakes. So if I can, since it's going to be a donor anyways, I'm going to try and use that rear end. I've measured. The leaf springs are the same width apart. They're also the same width as far as what they are. Uh, the only thing that's kind of up in the air is the shocks. The shocks are actually different. The passenger side shock on the HD goes forward. The driver side points towards the back. So may just have to get some different shock mounts, move some things around. Maybe I can move these around. I don't know. We'll see when we dig into it. Um, short bed, long bed, not really 100% sure on that yet. 
Uh, definitely want to keep the dual tank set up. That's pretty cool. Have that in there. Um, like I said, like everything else, we'll go through it all. But plan is lower it down probably somewhere in the five, seven, six, eight neighborhood, somewhere down there, pretty low. I know I've said before that I'd like to have 22s on it. I've really been eyeballing the, the Detroit steel wheels, the eight lug wheels that they have probably run the dog dish hubcaps on it i think that'd be pretty cool on this truck just keep it clean simple you know crew cab enough fun for the kids to get in they can go with me to shows and all that stuff keep stuff in it room for suitcases put stuff in the bed uh like i said still be able to tow with it so if everybody wants to go i can tow pecos as well long trips not really that big a deal especially with dual tanks but figured i'd take the time show you guys the newest project like I said all the donor stuff it was it's a cool truck i love it but just the more i got to thinking if i'm gonna try to get the headliner done and do interior and and this and that like why not just go ahead and take it put it all into this crew cab be super cool i like the idea not to mention there is a small small amount of frame damage on the back of this i probably could take it to work put it on the frame machine pull it get it all straightened back out get all the rear end stuff squared back away on the bumper and the hitch but that plan went to the wayside when i saw this i got to talking to alex walker one day and he said he knew of a guy that had this thing for sale so he gave me the guy's number and it was super cool okay i'm excited about it i can't wait to get started on it it's gonna be fun gives me a reason to get back in the garage after i get it cleaned up of course stay tuned and we'll keep wrenching away and show you guys progress as we move along all right guys so i hope you enjoyed that segment we're calling it real talk with ttr hope you enjoyed his look at the new ubt crew i think it's going to be something pretty cool he's got some awesome plans obviously having the ls donor truck there with his little hd is a really really cool plan cool idea so we've got some other things up our sleeves since ron recorded this video so i can't wait to bring all that to you ron's already been working you know pretty diligently on getting this thing cleaned up getting the suspension the way he wants it so we got some big stuff to to release to you on that front so thanks for tuning in to united by trucks if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so definitely leave a comment down below let us know what you think of ron's new project the new united by trucks project ubt crew and definitely smash that thumbs up button if you like what you saw today we'll catch you next time on united by trucks Cue the music